Welcome Kings and Queens to Ace Designs 107 and today I have an After Effects tutorial on this effect. So it's a really cool typing text effect and it's going to be really simple. Um, there's a couple of keen things that you'll have to do here and there but besides that it's going to only take like five minutes. So we're going to go to composition and we're going to make a new composition. You can name whatever composition you're using. I'm going to be using for the background color dark magenta. The preset's going to be HDTV 1080p 29.9 frames per second and the duration is going to be three seconds. We're going to press OK on that. And we're going to grab our text tool. We're going to press on the document and type out whatever we want. So I'm going to do this tutorial after effects. And the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to put this in the middle of the document. So we're going to go down to our line panel. We're going to press the second and fifth icon. This is going to put it in the dead center of the document. You can also use the title and action safe and line your text up like that. So after you've put your text in the middle of the document, we're going to mask this. So we're going to grab our text layer. We're going to press the rectangular tool and we're going to drag over the text layer. So we're going to do a mask like this. And we're gonna do it like that so 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 the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna keyframe this mask so if you haven't done keyframing before and after effects it's pretty simple and once you've get a hang of it you'll get used to it very easily so you're gonna go to zero frames and you're gonna keyframe the mask path and you're gonna press ctrl T and you're gonna resize this mask to this size you're going to press enter on that size and then you're going to go down to 20 frames you're going to press ctrl t and you're going to resize it to the end of the text like that bam and you're going to leave a little bit of hanging off like that okay i'm going to press enter on that size so basically what we've done is just to explain it for you um i know a lot of my past tutorials i didn't explain what i'm doing and why it happens like that so i'm going to go through a bit of my theory more in my tutorials so the reason why it happened like that is with the first keyframe we made it this size and then when we drag our slider to 20 frames and change the size it automatically places another keyframe as you can see here with different um, coordinates and positions so it's going to reveal the text basically so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to make the actual you see the typing symbol so to do this what we're going to do is we're going to use our pen tool and a mouth path so we're going to grab our pen tool and we're going to make sure that we're not selected on this layer otherwise it's going to draw it as a path and we don't want that so we're going to hold shift while we draw the straight line we're going to make the stroke a white and the size of the line or stroke is going to be three pixels and then we're going to reveal the text and we're going to position this stroke however it fancy us like this I think that's the best position and you can use your arrow keys by selecting the layer and get a more accurate area and what you can do here is you can change the path properties like you did with the mask so you can go down to your shape layer you can rename this to like typing typing sign or i don't know what it's called i'm um, sorry guys so you can go down to the contents shape one and then you can go to path one and you can keyframe this path and then go to 20 frames and change where it's sitting at 20 frames so we can hold shift while we move this down to here and basically that's going to be moving with the path now guys there's one thing if it's not lining up with the path as these guys can see there's a reason for that so to do to, to fix this we need to actually see this path working so we need to see where this mask is at all times and we need to see where it finishes so with this 20 frames when we finished this typing at this mask we need to finish it where it finishes with the mask so you can change the mask size so by selecting the mask size 
mask and then press control T or just press U on your keyboard they'll bring up all the keyframes and then press control T and then resize that mask to that and you're also going to resize the mask where it ends or you can just simply move the typing sign a couple of directions so now it's going to be lining up with the mask pretty accurately but it's still behind the mask so we're going to move it a couple more times and it's still behind the mask for a couple pixels okay so now it's lining up with the mask and we have lined up everything so guys you do want to make sure that everything is sync with this one it was in sync you know kind of straight away um just work perfectly like that so as you guys can see you do want to make sure everything is lining up and you can also drag out the keyframes by selecting both of these layers pressing U and then just select both of the endpoints and then drag it later and then the animation will happen more slowly like that but we're just going to keep it at that speed for now and the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in the flashes so as you guys can see the, the typing symbol, you know, the blinker, it blinks in and out constantly. So to do this, it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy. But first of all, we're going to grab, press control, we're going to shift select both of these layers, press U on our keyboard, and we're going to grab all these keyframes. And we're going to hold shift while we're grabbing them, and we're going to drag these to 20 frames. So that's going to start at 20 frames and the beginning of the animation we want this blinker to start working so we're going to keyframe the opacity to do this what we're going to do is we're going to grab out the i think it's the transformation and you're going to press the keyframe of the opacity and now you can just close all this and then you can just press u on that and then it'll bring out this we don't want the opacity on this that's bad definitely not want that so we're going to go to our opacity and we're going to make this zero and then we're going to go five frames in and we're going to make this a hundred and then we're going to go 10 frames in and then we're going to go make this zero and then we're going to go 15 frames in we're going to make this a hundred and then we are going to go um one second and 10 frames out and then we're going to press this little sign here to keyframe this and then go 15 frames out and then go make this zero 20 frames out and make this 100 and go 25 frames out and make this zero how many frames did i do there 20 i went to two seconds and then you go two seconds out and then you make it 100 again so now what you have in a nutshell is this effect what we've made so it blinks in blinks out and it reveals the text it's really simple like that guys you can make a lot of different cool things with this you can do multiple texts like you can do this and then reverse it so if you have one one re text revealing itself in the middle of the document you can have it exactly on the bottom revealing it another text another way so it's really cool like that and i think that you can do many different things with this so I hope that you do enjoy this tutorial. If you do end up making it, make sure to upload an example of this video of your creation in the description onto YouTube and give me the link on Twitter and I'll go check it out and I'll tell you if you can make any changes to it or help you like that. Thank you guys for watching the tutorial. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. Um, I'm going to try and start keeping up daily uploads now. So yeah guys i don't know daily i do have a daily upload schedule it's just that you know sometimes i'm not able to make it but it is there it is there so for new subscribers so thank you guys for watching this video again and i'll see you guys soon peace